hi welcome to civil mania today we will discuss about the design of concrete pressure for the formworks there are two types of formwork we can see one is a horizontal formwork and one is a vertical formwork in the horizontal formwork it comes around slabs and uh, vertical forms they have walls and columns first of all we have to understand what is pressure diagram of a concrete the pressure diagram comes like this <coughs> this is the height of the concrete like height of the element and this is the p max this is the p and this pressure indicates the design pressure for the fluid and design pressure for the non fluids okay this pressure p we are having a formula like density into height of the element we will give the it will gives the pressure p to determine the p max that is p max pressure uh, we have the seria formula in that we can calculate it the formula comes like this we have rho into g in the rho is density of concrete in kilo newton per meter cube and height of element in meters okay first uh, to determine the p max we have the formula like rho into c1 square root of r plus c2 into k into square root of h minus c1 into square root of r okay rho is the density of the concrete in kilonewton per meter cube c1 is the type of structures for wall it is 1 and for column it is 1.5 and r is the rate of rise i will discuss there how to calculate the rate of rise also and c2 is the type of concrete for example for opc it is 0.45 if the other type of concrete use the c2 value is given by the engineer or architect okay to determine the k value we have the formula like 36 divided by t plus 16 to the power square t is nothing but temperature of concrete and h is height of element example like a design a concrete pressure for a wall having length 3.6 thickness 0.75 height 3.4 meter temperature of concrete is 20 degrees celsius and cement used is opc and the supply of concrete is 15 meter cube hour it depends on which the uh, which type of con which type of method you are using for the pumping like you are using pumping or a boom placer or a hand by a bucket okay first of all we have to calculate p max the unknown things are we know we don't know k we don't know r is r is nothing but rate of rise to calculate rate of rise first we have to calculate the volume of wall like it's a length it's a thickness and it's a height so we will get around 3, 9.18 meter cube then we have to uh, determine the time to complete concreting of the wall that is we know the volume then we know the supply of concrete that is uh, <coughs> 15 meter cube per hour so divide it so we'll get 0.612 hours okay so the rate of rise is given by height by time we know that height of element is 3.4 and the time taken is 0.612 hours so the rate of rise is 5.56 meter per hour so we have to determine the k value the k value nothing but 36 by t plus 16 here t is 20 so we will get the k value as 1 so let's start in this the pressure the density of the concrete <coughs> is 25 we assume it and um, c1 is 1 and r is the determined is 5.56 then c2 is 0.45 for opc as i discussed and k is 1 then 3.4 is the height of wall and r is the rate of rise that is again 5.56 then we will get the p max pressure as 70.46 kN per meter square so that comes here around 70.43 is the p max value to determine the p value just multiply the density of concrete with the height we will give 85 that is the p value this is nothing but the height of element to determine this height so we will divide the p max by density so we will get 